We're here today to talk to you about when you need to think about upgrading the connecting rods in your truck. Most of the cases, this is not going to matter for most of the guys that daily drive their trucks. But I'm here to share some information about these and when you should think about upgrading them. For a 6.0 power stroke, which we have right here, the bottom end has been known to hold 1,000 horsepower all day long. Plenty of trucks out there make it, plenty of trucks surpass it, and handle it just fine. I get guys all the time call me and say, Matt, I want to build an 800 horsepower truck. I need to order some rods. I talk to them about it. I share the information. I'm not trying to talk them out of it. I'm trying to make sure they understand and are educated as to when they truly need them. Realistically, yes, in our industry, it's better to be safe than sorry. You don't want to put all that money into a build and then send a rod through a block because then you're out the block, which in some cases that core charge can equal a couple thousand dollars. Yes, you could probably find a block for five, 600 bucks, but let's try to preserve some blocks. That's what I think we should do. So let's talk about when you need to get these. For the 6.0 Power Stroke, we generally recommend at about 800 horsepower, it's time to start thinking about doing rods. And the reason being is, although it's known to handle a thousand horsepower in plenty of trucks, for years and years, the grand scheme of things is you're starting to push the limit. Seven threes, generally about 600 if you have the powder metal ones. Uh, the Cummins, right about 1,000 is when you need to start thinking about, well, the 12 valve rods. They can handle 1,000, 1,200. Later years, it's about 800. And then you get to the six, seven power stroke. And that poor son of a gun, it's just not ready for the power. It's a hell of an engine. Super reliable, super powerful for what it does. But let's be honest, it's not ready for big power numbers. When I say big power, I'm talking 800 plus. Realistically, the six, seven power stroke generally starts to worry about scattering the bottom end at about 750. Most of the people that are around them and work on them and see them on a day-to-day -day basis and build them, most people will agree that about seven, 750, some cases 800, they've seen them hold that. And with just a ghetto fog on the dyno, we've seen 900 just out of one that had stock rods. But the majority of the time, it's about 750 to 800. So when you start looking for rods, what should you be looking for? Well, we got the Cali's rods here, and that's what we're talking about is the Ultra Assassin rod for your 6.0 power stroke. We're putting in a set in a truck that's planning to shoot for four digits horsepower. That's the goal with this one, but it wants to be a reliable daily driver, but four digit horsepower on the dyno. We have the Ultra Assassin, one of the hardest budget friendly rods you can find on the market. When I say budget friendly, it's around $2,000, 2,200 bucks for a set. Most other ones are gonna be in the 3,800 to 4,000. When you start to talk about that kind of money, it gets, it gets to be like, okay, do I really want to push my truck that far? Am I okay at that 700, 800 horsepower range? Because most diesels are usually pretty good about 700, 800 horsepower, which is wild. If you haven't driven in a 700, 800 horsepower truck, I promise you, you might think that your 7.3 or 6.0 that feels really good, runs good, but it's probably in the four to 500 range, maybe six. Or your Cummins, the same thing. Or your Duramaxes. They all run really good. They pull like a freight train. They do awesome things, but they're only in the 600 horsepower. You go up another couple hundred horsepower and you really start hitting some, some pretty interesting numbers and it, it feels fun. It's just fun. Let's just be honest. It's a blast. Rolling burnouts at 60 miles an hour. Just, I, come on. That just, I've never seen somebody sad doing that. The Cali's rods are the ones that we use on the 60 power strokes often. These are rated for 1500 plus horsepower is what they call them. When you purchase this, you're gonna get a full set of Cali's Ultra Assassin rods, okay? Obviously they have the wrist pin bushing pressed in there. You got your lubrication, your tech specs, everything else included in the kit. Wagglers, Carillos, same concept. They're all gonna come properly set up to go. You don't mess with a whole bunch of Wagglers and Carillos. They're a great rod, but we just haven't had a customer buy them in a while. I hope this helps you in determining when you should think about putting a connecting rod in your truck or an upgraded connecting rod and why you should think about it. In the grand scheme of things, if you want a general rule of thumb, we're gonna say in the majority of diesel trucks, about 800 horsepower is where you need to start thinking about putting a set of billet rods, upgraded connecting rods in your truck. Be sure to give us a call, 1-800-577-2698. Talk to myself, Adam, our other rest of our team, and see when you should be planning for it. Do you need to worry about it? Are you getting close to that point of, hey, I should probably tear this engine back apart before I send pieces of the engine across the track or across the highway while I'm pulling my camper. Let's chat about that. Thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate it. Please be sure to click like, subscribe, follow. Check out all of our social media platforms. We got all of them. Come on, I mean, it's like 2024, I think. 2023. Well, 2024 trucks are coming out. I was eyeballing them earlier. That's why I said that. Anyways, it's 2023. We're in the game. We have all of the social medias. Go follow them all. Go check them out. 
We like to share different little things here and there across the board. So we really appreciate your support. Thank you for everything.